Welcome to what is possibly the strangest instructions for Need for Speed video ever released. Because I'm not playing Need for Speed yet. It's kind of weird. But what we're going to be doing today is starting a brand new series of Need for Speed on the channel. Hopefully one that will last a while. If you guys love it, then let me know by giving it some support. It'll let me know. And anyway, what we're going to do is make the things we need to do this, these series. Now, it sounds a little bit weird, but we need to make some things. I've, I've wrote up a big plan for this series, and I think it'll be quite interesting, hopefully. If, otherwise, it's going to be like one episode long. I put it on the wrong way. We're now ready. We have got ourselves the spinning wheel. You know those big wheels that they spin? I, I, I didn't want to buy one for like 90 quid on Amazon, so I've made my own with a drill and some sticky pads. Now, <laughs> over time I will make a better wheel, I'll probably get one, but hey, it's a magic, right? I'm like fucking Casey Neistat. Now, the series, what is the series, Theo? We are gonna get to one million dollars on Need for Speed. That is the objective. I don't think I've ever stayed in a million dollars on Need for Speed for a long, long time. So I'm gonna go on the on Need for Speed in a minute, spend all of my money, and then we're gonna get ready for the first episode, which is gonna be the next video. This is preparation in this episode. We're gonna be building the car and everything like that. I think it's gonna be an awesome series, and I've been planning it for the past couple of weeks, really. And I've wanted to go back to Need for Speed for a while. Now, the general the idea behind this thing, why have you made this stupid spinning wheel? Well, the idea is, each episode I will get a spin. And the top sticker will tell me what I get. Now, I have four, of st four stickers on here currently. I may add to it, but currently, there's two positives and two negatives. I did that because that's swearing in the UK. Now, on this wheel, we've got four options. First one is going to be no NOS. You cannot use nitrous in that episode, which basically messes up online racing for you quite a lot. Then we have Hoonicon, which is a positive, because the Hoonicon, I, if you don't know, is basically on par with the Hurricane, if not better in my opinion. So we get to use that for the episode, which is good for drifting and normal racing. That's the advantage with the Hoonicon. It's one of the fastest cars in the game as well. Community wrap means that you guys can send in wraps on Twitter, and I'll pick out one of those using your PSN. If you send your PSN or, well, your P it has to be PSN, in the actual video as well, on the, on the screenshot, then I'll be able to see it. As for the final one, that is the Golf. So I have to use the Golf, which is going to be interesting. And if you guys want to have any suggestions on what I can add to this wheel, on what I should do to the Golf, that sort of thing, let me know down in the comments. Again, this is this is the introduction to the series. The next video I do will be the actual episode. And I'll be getting user input on the, on the second episode of the series after the first episode, like as in that's when effects will take place because I'll have seen the comments after that video because I'm recording the first episode after this episode. You get the idea, this is episode zero. This is the magic book that I've been planning the series in, but the idea is we're gonna be doing speed lifts online, starting with nothing, building up to $1 million. Now each week, you guys will be able to tell me in the comments as well, throw me a curveball and one will be picked at, at random each episode. Now these curveballs can be positive or negative and it can be anything you can really think of. Doesn't necessarily necessarily mean I'll do everything, but if I think it's suitable to it and it won't ruin it too much, I'll go with that option. So for example in here I've got some extra spin options so that you can go with give me an extra spin if you're feeling like you're nice say I land on something bad that I don't want that episode. And then obviously we've also got takeaway upgrades from cars. So you can take one level away from the upgrades or maybe multiple, I don't know. Or you can maybe switch to a different car that I have in my collection, that sort of thing. Because there's probably going to be more than one car along the way, but this first car we're going to be building is like the star car. Now one other rule to mention is that I can take a spin from the next episode and bring it to this episode. If I really, really, really want to use a spin, like an extra spin, this, the episode that I'm in, I can take the spin for the next episode, which means I will lose a spin in the next episode unless somebody says so. Now, the curveball, again, another curveball I just thought of, removing the spin. You can take the spin off of me, that episode. Never mind an extra spin. You can do whatever you want. This series is where you guys are messing with me or helping me however you want to play, and I get to use a cool wheel at the start of every episode. This is the main reason I wanted to make the series. That was really loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> Any improvements you can think of, let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear all of them. And again, welcome to Road to a million. I think that's what I'm going to call it. I might change it, honestly. We don't know. But we're on need for speed now. 
Well, we're not. I need to start recording that. That's a good fucking point. There she is, the cheating unicorn. Right. What we are going to be doing, though, is picking a car for this series. Now, I don't know where to start, honestly. I'm thinking maybe going with a 180. Because I've actually had, like, a sudden obsession with the 180 recently. Or the 240 or the 200. Whatever you want to bloody call it. Whatever variant of it is. We're going to probably start with that. Again, we don't have to stick to that. We can change it whatever point we want. We've got a nice Ferrari there as well, which is mine, which we can sell. I have quite a bit of money. We've got 280000 again, which needs to be completely removed. Because we're going to be starting from the bottom, working to the top. And we need to hit a million. If we spend money, it takes off of it. So that's ser the series can either be really short or really long, depending on how we go about it. So... 180SX is my current thing I'm thinking of. And you know what? That's what we're going with. The 180SX is our first car of choice for this series. Though you would have probably already known this. I, I just literally figured that out. That's why I'm not hyping it up for nothing. I just, I literally didn't know. Now, we have a lot of options here. We've got spoiler options. Now, as always, I kind of want to go with a massive gaping wing. Because, I mean... That, that spoiler just suits this car better than any... I didn't realize how many bloody kits there were for this car. Bloody Nora. Right. Uh, do we want to go with, like, a super clean build, something like that, like Sleeper the front? Or do we want to go for a proper Rocket Bunny thing? Don't know. Tell you what, we'll throw this on just for a start, and we're going to see if we can actually put the big gaper on. If we can't, then I'm going to go back on it. Yeah, because, I mean, again, we need to waste money anyway, so it makes sense, doesn't it? Choice made. Where's the big wang? There it is. I remember this wing wasn't originally in the game, and it got added in later. I'm so glad they added it in, because this is, like, the best part of this car. It's ridiculous. Now, I might actually do the glitch at some point and do some of the mods, because you still have to buy them, don't you, I think? If, like, to remove parts, you don't, but you get the idea. It doesn't really affect that. Uh, too much anyway, so I think we're gonna go with oh, do we go with the carbon or the proper like fart can rice can exhaust? I'm gonna go with the rice can exhaust for now And again, you guys can let me know down in the comments how much you absolutely fucking hate my decision So there we are that is pretty much the visual build of it I wish it could be lower because look how high that thing is still it's a bit silly But we're gonna now go into the paints and wraps now. I'm not actually going to choose one I'm gonna make my own. I just really want to see what's available like just to get some inspiration and see what people have been creating and that looks pretty awesome actually uh, I, I just want to go through them as i said and see for some inspirations i think i've got an idea let's let's put it into practice then shall we So here is our car, uh, not really keen on the design massively, but hey, it's not the worst design in the world, right? I mean, it's it's pretty pretty close to that, but it, it looks a bit dodgy on some angles, but I think it looks okay. I think it looks okay. It's the first time I've done a wrap while recording, like under speed and pressure to do it. And it's the first time I've done like a proper designs on the wrap thing. I don't know. It might look like wank to you, but I think it's pretty all right. Anyway, so what we're going to be doing is now upgrading this thing. Now, I've got to think about the rules of upgrading. The problem is I can't just take a stock 180SX into a lobby and expect it to do well. That's just physically impossible. So what we're going to have to do is do a little bit of a build just to see how we can, you know, not do too much upgrades. But at the same time, give us enough to actually give us a chance to actually win some events, if that makes sense. I mean, look at this. We're not going to win anything in this, are we? It's a bit, it's a bit slow, isn't it? A bit slow. But let me know your thoughts on the round down below in the comments. If you think it's wank, well, it's okay, because you guys can actually get a community wrap. Obviously, the option to get a community wrap at some point, so there we go. That's, that's, that's useful. So, 205 horsepower. Not 60 in 6 seconds. That's not bad, actually. Not 60 in 6 seconds. That isn't too shabby whatsoever. Why am I complaining? But we need to give it a bit of more of an upgrade. Now, I'm not going to max out the engine at all in the slightest because, again, this is going to be a car we're going to build up over time. But what I will do is give myself a little bit of a boost in this department. The discount is 30%. Well, isn't that perfect timing? We're getting 30%. Is that just completely constantly on now or something? I'm not exactly sure. Uh, again, what we're going to do is throw in, let's say, give myself the 7k engine, and we're going to give myself NOS, because obviously one of the options is to get rid of NOS. So let's give ourselves 
actual NOS. Uh, which option, option do we want to go with? I'm going to go with the full max option. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. That's a lie. I'm going to go with the one of the weaker options. We'll go with um, time refill nitrous because we're going to need it for a little, little, little bit of low power we've got. Clutch, I'm going to do the next level upgrade. So again, I think most of them, I'll pretty much just go one up and I'll go over and show you once I've actually chosen the options we're going to go with. This is what we're going with. 466 horsepower, not to 60 in 3.43 seconds. And even speed terms, that's not too shabby, considering a lot of these upgrades are just level one upgrades as well. And again, the money we get in the series is going to be used to upgrade it. Now, that is pretty much the build done. Uh, I don't think we need to really do anything else other than the tune, which is going to be a very quick thing. Let's go to power and the normal. You get, you know what it is. We're going to do a little bit of a drift, like biased build because of the fact we obviously want it to slide a little bit because we're going to be doing multiple classes. So it's, we need, we need it to do everything basically. And there we have it. So oh, um, I'm not really going to bother taking this car and testing it because that would technically be slightly cheating what we are going to do is i need to wrap those windows because that is fucking pissing me off i mean not wrap them but tint them just do that to them there we go that's a little bit better but yeah uh we're gonna dive straight into it with the next episode with the spinny thing and all the drill with the <laughs> the, the chocolate thing lid on the top we're, we're gonna take that we're going to go straight online and we can play about with the tune and the upgrades from there. Uh, again, I'm going to make sure that I have no money when we start the next episode. So I'm going to just buy and sell cars, something like that. I don't know. We will see what happens. But if you are hyped up this series, please be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you are new and let me know down in the comments if there's anything you'd like to change in the series that I've said thus far. And we'll put it into action, hopefully. People in the second episode, because we've already done the first one, you say. Alright, thanks for watching, subscribe if you're new, and peace.